lovely wholesome day in Notting Hill. And now I'm going to go to the Notting Hill bookshop. So I feel like it's meant to be. We're going to have a little wander around Space NK and stuff. And read my book and eat a delicious cinnamon bun. The banana bread matcha. Just going to some farm shops. But it's my ideal kind of day in London. Good morning everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another daily vlog. I thought we would spend the day together today. I'm going to go into London and have the most autumnal, wholesome little solo day in London. And I'm so excited for it. So I thought I would take you along with me. We could spend the day together. I literally can't wait for today. Like I've been planning today for ages. Just like compiling a list of like little bits and bobs I want to do around London. Um, and I finally kind of formulated it into today. And that is what we're going to do. And I'm so excited. We're going to go to Notting Hill. We're going to do a bit of shopping in Westfield. We're going to get lots of autumnal drinks and snacks and stuff. And I literally can't wait. And it is the most gorgeous, gorgeous, bright blue sky, sunny day. Like it has just aligned perfectly with the weather. So I'm feeling very happy. I'm wearing my favourite outfit that I've worn a lot. But I wanted to be comfy and just wear an outfit that I know is like reliable and comfy all day. So I've gone with this. I've got my trusty, reliable bag, which I absolutely love and i'm ready to go the sunglasses are in the hair the hair has been kind of bouncy blow dried whether it's going to last or not i don't know but i'm ready i'm going to head to the station we're going to get the train and we're going to head into london and spend the day together and i'm going to start rambling now and my mum's calling me so um i'm going to answer this and i'm going to head to the station and i'll see you in a bit just stopped off for a little um coffee and pastry break i've come to layla um which i've heard so much about this pan chocolate looks huge it looks so good as well and then i've got myself an iced latte because although it's october it's actually boiling like when i was walking here in the sun my back was getting so hot like the sun is so warm today so i thought i'd get like a little ice one i also don't know what's happened to my hands there because i've not even got fake tan on so don't know what's gone on there let's just ignore that but yeah i've stopped for a little pastry break because is it a georgie clark ideal day without stopping for pastry i don't think so and i actually can't get over the size of this it's huge they also had a pistachio loaf which i nearly got but it was like seven pound and i decided that i really didn't need that so i just went with this one instead because it actually looks a little bit better I've had my pastry and my coffee, which is very nice. I've been wanting to go to Layla um, for ages. When I first saw it, I really wanted to go there because um, I really wanted to get like Instagram content on the inside, but then they changed the layout to a different one, which looked really nice, but wasn't good for getting Instagram content. Um, but it looked really nice of like how they display the pastries. But then the other week they changed the layout again for the third time. And now I hate the new layout. Like I just don't think it looks very nice. Like the pastries don't look anywhere near as nice. I'm just gonna quickly show you. So this is what it used to be like. Um, I don't really know how well you can see that. I'll show you some better pictures. But like all the pastries used to be on this counter here and you could take like really nice pictures of all the pastries because of how they were laid out. Um, and then before that, um, I'm trying to find a picture. Like this is what it used to look like. It's the same building. It just doesn't look anywhere near as cute now. This is it like ages and ages ago. How nice would that be for getting Instagram pictures sat here and then all the pastries here. And now you saw what it looked like today and it just doesn't look anywhere near as nice. Like I'm gutted that they've changed it. Like this was it before. Look at how nice that looks. I just feel like that looks so much better. Like I feel like the upgrade isn't an upgrade. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's a bit of a downgrade. This is now what it looks like. And it's all in like glass counters and I don't love it. So I've been wanting to go there for ages. And I've missed the two layouts that I preferred and now I've gone and I don't like the layout. Like this is it before. How stunning does that look? I feel like that just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing. But anyway. I've had my coffee and my pastry regardless. And now I'm gonna to go to the Notting Hill bookshop, um, have a look at some books, go in some farm shops. I think I've already said that. I think I'm repeating myself. So let's just get on with it. This is what I wanted to come to the bookshop for. They do this blind date with the book. And obviously, normally this must be full, but there's only one left. So I feel like it's meant to be. It says it's an LGBT sports romance. Fun, spicy and witty, which is probably not something I would normally read, but I feel like with it being the last one, I should get it. And I've always wanted to do something like this, where like you don't know what the book is, you just kind of know what it's about. I mean, I was hoping there was gonna be more, so I could, you know, pick through and pick one that would be a little bit more suited to me, but I think I'm still gonna get it anyway, because I'm really intrigued by it, and I think it's such a cute idea, so I'm gonna get it. Okay, I've just come inside, and I found that they've got more, like they've got um, a few more choices. So I'm gonna have a selection, not a selection, I'm gonna have a pick through and find one that I think will be like a little bit more, either me or very, very different to what I would normally go for, you know? Like I just, I don't know, I just feel like I wanna, that one wasn't really grabbing me. I'm either gonna go with this one, 
or this one and I don't really know which one but they're just not something I would normally pick but I'm kind of interested in them if that makes sense. I decided on my book so when we get home I'm gonna open it and we can see what it is together. I just think it's such a cute idea and it's only $7.99 which I don't think is bad like seeing as a book is normally like I don't even know because I buy books for my Kindle but you know what I mean like and it's quite a cute idea and it's gonna make me read something that I perhaps wouldn't normally pick but I might actually really enjoy so when we get home um, I'm gonna open it and we can see what it is and I'm now just gonna pop to buns from home because I want to get myself a little cinnamon bun or something from there so then when I get home later I can open my book and sit in bed and read my book and eat a delicious cinnamon bun or tiramisu bun um, or something like that from buns from home so if that's not the most Georgie Clark or Tumnal themed afternoon then I don't know what is. Oh my god I've just seen this house oh it's kind of backlit with the sun let me block that away it's all decorated for Halloween but they've got their gate shut at the moment so you can't see it like fully because I reckon like the decorations go all the way down here how fun is that I kind of want to cross and have a look at that how fun on the balcony I just wish I could see the door display because I just know that that would be amazing they've also decorated this house as well it's got um like little skeletons on it and then there's like a little pumpkin where's it gone there look at how cute but they've got building work on next door so the audio is not ideal I'm sorry I'm really intrigued by these crisps like every time I see them I really want to try them and apparently they do actually taste like a fried egg but I'm also kind of a bit scared like I don't know how that's gonna be this guy's sweeping all the autumnal leaves up but I love them I mean people living on this street probably don't want them there because look at how nice these houses are but I love the autumn leaves like this noise walking through them crunching them I love it oh my god I've just seen another Halloween house there's so many little like Halloween decorated houses in Notting Hill I love it this one's got cobwebs all over and then they've also got loads of um pumpkins lining their stairs I love that that is so cute I wasn't planning on walking down this street but now I feel like I should in case there's any more um Halloween houses because they're just so cute I love these houses anyway because I just think they're stunning but then when they decorate them for Halloween it just makes them 10 times better. I'm actually loving seeing all these pumpkin displays everywhere like it's so cute. Buns from home has been acquired. I nearly got um, a banana bread one because it looked delicious but I just decided to go for the plain um, classic cinnamon because I've never actually had the basic one. And the guy said like he recommends having that because that's what they started out with because in the past i've only ever had the tiramisu like fancy filled dessert one so i thought i'd stick with basic maybe i'll get banana bread next time so now i've got my bun so now i've got my book and my bun ready for a lovely cozy afternoon when i get home and now i'm just going to pop to shepherd's bush um westwood because it's not far from here and we know my love for primark and i also feel like i could have a little wander around space nk and stuff so i feel like when i'm so close i might as well do a little bit of shopping because like i said it's my ideal kind of day in london and i do love me some primark this is actually so cute like all the brown paper packaging i don't know what it is about brown paper but it's honestly my favorite like if you wrap my presents in brown paper i love it just reminds me of like the olden days and i don't know why it's just the noise and i just think it's because it's obviously my color scheme as well but everything is just aesthetically pleasing today which i'm loving <laughs> I'm going to be very honest here, say something potentially quite scandalous and stuff, um, but I've never seen the film Notting Hill, which is really surprising seeing as Notting Hill is like my favourite area in London, but I've just walked past, I mean the bus is literally about to cover it, wait till the bus goes, I've just walked past the blue door, which I don't really get the relevance of because obviously I've not seen the film, but everyone's taking pictures outside it and there was a big crowd around it and I was like what's that and then I kind of put two and two together. Now the bus is at a red light, um, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to move because it's literally here. But yeah, I just saw it and now I'm like, maybe this evening when I get home, I should open my book, have my bun and then watch the film Notting Hill because that's the door there and there's all the crowds of people. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't really get the relevance of it because I've not seen it, but I know that it's to do with the film. So now I'm like, maybe I should watch that this evening because I've not seen it and I know that it's on Netflix. And I'm kind of thinking like, what better thing is there to do after a lovely wholesome day in Notting Hill than to go home and watch the film Notting Hill. Like I feel like that makes so much sense. So I might do that when I get home and then I can like read my book in bed after I've watched the film. That honestly just sounds like the most wholesome evening ever and I'm gonna have a big bottle of pasta for dinner. So it all sounds perfect. How satisfying is this with all the veg? I love things like this. I don't know why I just do. They've got like a matcha filled um, chocolate bar. I wish I liked matcha because that actually looks really nice, but I think I'm gonna get this one, which is a lot more me. They've got like a little pistachio cream one. I've made it to Westfield and I'm now going to head to Bath and Body Works to go and smell all the autumnal candles which I literally can't wait for like my 16 year old self is screaming that I'm about to go and do this and I literally can't wait 
they don't seem to have any autumnal scents, which is so annoying. They've got loads of Christmas ones though, like Christmas trees and Merry Cookie and Spiced Apple Toddy, Sugared Snickerdoodle. Like they've got so many cute Christmas ones, but I'm not quite ready for that. Like I want to be autumnal today, so I want to smell the autumnal scents. I can't seem to find any. This is potentially the most me candle ever. At first I thought it was um, cinnamon rolls, but I don't think it is, but I still love the color scheme and it's called Cozy Sunday Night. That's literally perfect. The way my 16 year old self would be screaming right now that I can go into Bath and Body Works and then go straight into Sephora afterwards. I actually can't cope with this, I love this. I'm actually so tempted to get this. The Summer Friday's like mini lip butter set, I really want it, but I'm also tempted to wait and put it on my Christmas list because I never know what to ask for for Christmas. And I feel like this would be a good present. But I also really, really want it now because it's so flipping cute. They've got the new Summer Fridays um, like hot chocolate lip balm, but it just smells really artificial, like really artificial chocolatey, which I don't really love. I wish it smelled nicer because I love the packaging and that's so cute for like the winter, but I just don't love the smell of it. This is so cute, a little hot chocolate face mask. They've also got these, which I'd love to try like chilli um, lip plumping things. They're like little capsules that you like burst on your lips and then they plump your lips up. If I didn't already have my buns from home, best believe I would be getting a Cinnabon because I honestly love them. And they've got little pumpkin ones um, for Halloween as well. So they look like they've got like a little orange icing on, how cute. I'm tempted to get this as well, but it's £10 and it's tiny. Like that is only going to go on my face once, but it's a little pumpkin face mask and I love these fresh face masks from Lush. I've also had this one before, the Glen Coco one, which is chocolatey and I love it. Oh my God, if I didn't have makeup on right now, I would so do that free face mask facial. That would be so nice, but I don't want to ruin my makeup, so that won't be happening. This is potentially the funnest thing I've ever seen. It's like a little um, bath bomb convey about. I feel like I'm in Yo Sushi, but this is like 10 times better. I don't know why, but I used to be desperate for these when I was younger, and so was Sophia. Like, we had a conversation about them the other day, and I don't know why these had such a chokehold on us when we were teenagers, but we really wanted them. And now I've just seen this, a toothpaste jelly. I don't really get it, but I also am very, very intrigued. I feel like this is my 20 year old version of this, where I'm just gonna constantly want this, but never buy it because it's random. I'm just so intrigued by it. They also have a black one um, and an orange one. It just looks like a really weird texture. I just don't really get it. It's a shower jelly, but it's actually giant. And for 18 pound, I actually don't think that's bad because the normal ones of these are tiny um, and they literally last ages. I love them. Although does that actually fit in there? I don't know if that's that one. Surely it is, otherwise that's false advertising. But 18 pound flat is actually not that bad, I don't think, because these honestly last for ages and they're so fun in the shower. I actually do kind of love them, but that's just not very my aesthetic, so I won't be going home with her. Oh my God, look at the size of it. I find it so bizarre seeing the cast of Gilmore Girls, like actually at the age they are now, because I've only just started watching it, so I still feel like they're gonna look like they do in um, the series, but obviously they don't because it's actually really old. And I saw a um, clip of Luke, the coffee shop guy, the other day, and he looked so old and it really baffled me, but obviously they are old now. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so old, but it just baffles me. This is the whole reason I came into Primark in the first place, was to find a cute pair of pyjamas, because I thought today would be the perfect day to get a new pair of pyjamas. I can go home, read my book, eat my cinnamon bun, and watch Notting Hill. So I'm hoping they're gonna have some cute pyjamas in, so I can do that, because I feel like that would be so cute and wholesome, and just round the day off perfectly. Like, there's not much better than a fresh pair of new pyjamas from Primark, so I'm hoping they're gonna have some really cute ones. This is literally the color that I want, but I don't want a nighty. I want like trousers and a top in this. That would literally be perfect. Like that's what I'm hoping to find. These are kind of cute. I keep seeing people talking about these on TikTok, these like fluffy soft ones, but I don't really want that. I kind of want satin, more like dark brown. Oh my gosh, wait. That might be what I'm looking for. I think that is. Okay, this is exactly what I had envisioned, like a little top and trousers like that. The only thing is, I don't know if this is a bit of like a purpley brown. I don't know if it's got like a weird undertone to it, but I'm still kind of tempted because this is kind of what I was hoping for. Either this or like a minky um, kind of color like this sort of, but this might be the best bet. Or this is my other option, which is like a sweatshirt, but it is like so, so soft. Um, and then the trousers. So it's more of like, I don't really know how to explain it, but this is like soft and cottony or I've got um, the satiny ones. And they're the same price because the trousers of these are 12 pound and the top is 12. Okay, these are 24, these ones are 22. But you see what I mean? These look a bit purpley, whereas these I feel like are a bit more 
of a solid brown. So now I don't know which ones to go for. Okay, look, I'm gonna get both because I can't decide. Um, I feel like these are cuter for loungewear, these are cuter for pajamas, but I'm gonna get them both, try them both on at home, and then I can decide. But mission somewhat successful on getting some cute little autumnal pajamas, um, which I'm very excited about. Like these ones are literally so soft. These ones are a bit satiny. And yeah, I can't decide, so I'm just gonna get both and then I can return whichever one I don't want. This is the brown set, but in cream. I feel like you can see it slightly better here. And the cream is also so cute. I'm very much a cream kind of girly, as we know, but I've got in my head that I want like a chocolatey brown pair, so I'm gonna stick with these ones. I really don't need to buy the cream ones as well. The pajama plot thickens, because I've now found these ones in the classic boyfriend fit, which I love. And then they've also got this colorway, which I also love, like with the white piping. So now I don't know whether to get these instead because they're slightly cheaper and I know that I love these pajamas like they're so comfy and also this is the only color of these ones and they happen to be in my size because I like my pajamas to be oversized so now I'm like do I get these instead I don't know I've finished shopping and I've done something very rogue for myself and I've gone to Blank Street and I've got myself the banana bread matcha now if you've watched my videos before you'll know that's very for me because i don't like matcha so why i've gone and got a matcha i don't know but i thought like i just got fomo with everyone else trying it and i just really wanted to try it so i thought let's give it a go i'm really thirsty um and i felt like it was a nice autumnal drink it was either this or a hot chocolate and i wasn't really feeling hot chocolate because it's so warm today so i thought i'd get the banana bread matcha to try and i'm hoping this is going to convert me to liking matcha if not i'm not trying it again it looks absolutely gorgeous like with all the um like stuff in it so i'm gonna give it a stir and i really hope that i like it otherwise that's four pound 20 in the bin <laughs> going down the drain slash in the bin which i won't be very happy about i'm actually so happy because i really like that it just tastes like banana bread it doesn't taste like fishy or gross like the matcha i've had in the past does it's actually just banana bready and delicious. I'm actually so happy about that. I've been getting severe FOMO, not liking matcha with all the like blank street banana bread, the Mel's maple, seeing everyone talk about it, I had severe FOMO. Now I can join in. <laughs> that makes me so happy, like what a weirdo. Now I've just found something else to spend my money on, which I really didn't need, clearly. But I'm also glad I liked that because otherwise it would have gone in the bin. I've got no one with me to give it to and it would have been away. So I'm really glad I liked that. Maybe the one that I had from Starbucks that I tried that time that tasted of fish was just a dodgy one because matcha is not meant to taste a fish. People say it tastes like grass, but this doesn't even taste like grass. It just tastes like banana bread. It just tastes like a fancy banana milkshake, which I'm here for. I'm so happy about that. That is literally the most tempting thing ever. It's just a bag of crumble. And to end the day, I thought it'd be rude to come into London for an autumnal cozy day and not get humble crumble. So that's what I've got, but I don't really like crumble. <laughs> like I've no, I don't really like stewed fruit, which is why I've never had humble crumble before, but I've literally just got the tiniest bit of fruit and then like literally this much fruit. And then um, it's all basically crumble topping and custard, which is obviously the best bit. So I thought we could finish the day off. Oh my God, there's literally crumble up to about here. So I thought we could finish the day off with this, which looks actually delicious. <laughs> That is so good. You can also buy like a big bag of just the crumble topping, which I was so tempted to do, but the crumble topping is actually so easy to make, so I just decided it wasn't worth it. I thought I'd just buy a whole tub of it instead with custard on. I'm just gonna eat my crumble now, um, and then I'm gonna head home. And then when we're home, I'll show you like the pajamas, the book and everything. I actually can't believe how much crumble's in here. Can you see, like it's literally, I can't even see any fruit. There's like the tiniest, tiniest bit of fruit because I thought I probably should have a little bit of fruit. And I went with the apple and cinnamon one, but like there's like the tiniest amount of fruit. That is literally the perfect um, ratio of crumble for me. Welcome to this service for Cambridge. I am finally back in the car. Um, not the most flattering lighting, but that's okay. I'm just about to head home. And then once I'm home, um, I'll give you a haul of all the things I got because I've just lugged like one of the big, massive Primark reusable bags around. I've decided that I would buy a reusable one because I just didn't trust the paper ones. I just thought they would break. And I'm glad I did because this is a nice long handle so I could put it on my shoulder. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna head home. Um, at the train station, the guy, um, my ticket basically stopped working because for some reason, if you have your phone like rubbing against your phone, or in my case, your Kindle, 
it stops your ticket working. I don't know why, but I've had that happen before and the guy at the ticket barrier said that that happened. So I had to physically like go to see someone to get through the barriers. And um, I had my crumble in my hand, like half eaten, when I went to speak to him and I was literally talking to him and he wasn't even looking me in the eyes. He was literally staring at my crumble and he was like, what on earth is that? And I was like, it's crumble, but without the fruit, it's just the crumble and the custard. And he was like, that's so interesting. I said, yeah. And then like, when I walked through the barriers, he was like, um, I can't remember what he said. And I was like, yeah, I'm a bit unique like that or something. It was really funny. Like he was um, probably like 45 years old or something, you know, like probably thinking what on earth is this girl doing? But he was really lovely. Um, it just made me laugh. Cause you know, I don't know. It just did. But anyway, that was such a lovely day. Like I honestly enjoyed that so much. My hair's probably all dropped out cause I've had it like squashed between um, the bag straps. But yeah, that was literally such a nice day. Like thoroughly enjoyed it. I would thoroughly recommend to a friend. But anyway, I'm gonna get home now because I wanna get this makeup taken off. Um, someone has literally jammed me and I hate when people do this when like um, you're kind of like parallel parking because I don't have reversing sensors on this car either um, so it's really hard to see how close I am and I'm literally so jammed in because of the way people have parked in front of me and behind me which is literally the most annoying thing so it's going to take me ages to get out of here I hate when people do this but anyway I'm going to head home now um, I'm excited to get some LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm on my face i'm actually stuck in this space honestly van drivers i hate them that's really generic isn't it my brother drives a van so i don't actually mean that but like he has literally blocked me in so badly yeah i'm excited to get some elegant element what <laughs> i'm excited to get some lms pro collagen cleansing balm on my face to so take this makeup off get my new pajamas on um and get watching Notting Hill and see what book I have picked up but I will show you that all when I am home and that's all I've really got to update you on cool hey Siri play would you like to play today or sir you've actually just cut the corner so badly just play oh my god this is actually the most frustrating thing in the world seeing as my music doesn't want to play um i'll have a chat with you about my day which i was going to do when i got home but i might as well do it now as i said that was a thoroughly enjoyable day honestly i couldn't have picked better weather for it it was bright blue skies and sunshine all day which was gorgeous because honestly last time i went to Notting hill i went with katie and it was another gorgeous sunny day oh Okay, let's move you back that way. Which we both said would have been gorgeous for like a day of walking around Notting Hill, but it was really annoying because we were trying to shoot content. But today, for the first time in ages, I was going to London and I wasn't shooting any Instagram content, which was actually so lovely. Like to just go about my day and not have a suitcase with outfits and to get Instagram content. Like don't get me wrong, I absolutely love um, getting Instagram content and I love going into London for shoot days, but it was nice to just like not think about that today. And like the weather was then perfect for just walking around Notting Hill. It was literally ideal. Like it was nice to just be able to kind of go where I wanted, when I wanted, not have to be like, oh, I need to go here to get a picture. And also, obviously because i was on my own i could literally just do what i wanted when i wanted because it was just me myself and i to please which i loved like don't get me wrong i love going out with my friends and stuff but also going on your own like today all my friends are working so we're about to go through some wood so this is gonna get dark so just bear with there we go predicted as i was saying most of my friends work like nine to five or you know like monday to friday like a normal person but i've been wanting to do this day in london for a while so i just thought i'm just gonna go and do it you know to so take this as your sign if there's anything that you want to do just go and do it don't wait around for people to be free not that i have like none of my friends know i went today because i decided i was just going to go and do it on my own do you know what i mean it's not as if i messaged them all and they were all like no i don't want to do that with you um but still take it as your sign like if you want to do something go and do it on your own like i had such a lovely day just walking around london on my own um like i do enjoy my own company don't get me wrong i also love doing things with people and i don't think i could ever like fully live on my own especially with the job that i do it's very isolating obviously because obviously i work from home i work for myself i don't have any employees i don't work with anyone when i do work with brands i mainly just speak to them over like email so for that reason i don't think i could ever live on my own because i could literally go weeks without seeing anybody or speaking to anybody if i did but at times when it's on my own terms like today i quite like being on my own like i enjoy my own company and as sad as it sounds your own company or like yourself is the only constant in your life no matter how many people you want to stay in your life sadly people die <laughs> and i know that's really morbid and it didn't mean to take this turn but you are quite literally the only person that's ever gonna always be in your life if you know what i mean which is quite a weird thought but it just kind of goes to show that it's important to enjoy your own company does that make sense i don't know if i made that point very well but this lighting is horrendous um like actually shockingly horrendous so i'm gonna end this clip and i will see you at home okay and i'm home so let's go inside where it'll hopefully be better lighting and i'll show you what i got today i feel like we should start with the book because that is the thing that i'm most excited for so it says philosophical fiction a young girl keeps up a correspondence with an unknown entity 
profound and engaging. I'll be honest, I don't really know what the word philosophical means. Like if you asked me to give you a definition, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So I'm quite excited. I think this is such a cute concept. And like I was saying, I just love brown paper. Like I don't know what it is. Like I think, I think it's like, there must be a film that I watched when I was younger. And you know, like in the olden days when everything used to be like wrapped in brown paper and like the shopping bags of brown paper, like they still have in America and things like that. I think I watched it in a film once and someone was unwrapping something with brown paper and the noise of it just scratched something in my brain that I've just loved ever since. And I don't know what it is about brown paper in films, but they always make like a really crisp, nice audio on it. And I just love it. So that's part of the reason why I love brown paper, <laughs> which is so random, but. So we have. Sophie's World 20th Anniversary and Edition. Edition, not an edition. The cover's quite cool, but I've never seen or heard of this book before. But it says it sold over 40 million copies. That sounds quite good, actually. Oh my gosh, also, A, I love the smell of a new book. And because I'm a Kindle girly, I don't often have a physical book. So it's quite nice to have that for a change and have that smell. And another thing I'm already loving about this book is how small the writing is. I love my writing or like my font and stuff in books to be really, really small. I hate it when it's really big writing and this is nice and tiny, which I love. It says when 14 year old Sophie encounters a mysterious mentor who in introduces her to philosophy, mysteries deepen in her own life. Why does she keep getting postcards addressed to another girl? Who is the other girl? And who for that matter is Sophie herself? To solve the riddle, she uses her new knowledge of philosophy, but the truth is far stranger than she could have imagined. An addictive blend of mystery, philosophy, and fantasy. That is quite, like, that sounds quite good, actually. I normally read, like, mystery, crime, thriller, that kind of genre tends to be what I normally go for. So I feel like this is a little bit of a cross between that and philosophy, which I don't normally go for. So I feel like that is actually going to be quite good. I'm quite excited about that. So um, I've still also got my cinnamon bun, obviously. So in a bit, I'm going to sit and read this and eat this and I'm excited for that. And I've also brought my laptop upstairs ready to watch Notting Hill because I'm pretty sure I saw the other day that it was on Netflix and I know that it's probably really criminal that I've not yet seen that film, um, especially because I love Notting Hill so much. So I'm just going to quickly see if it is on here. And if it is, that is literally my evening plans sorted. Okay, perfect. It is two hours, three minutes. I probably won't be able to watch it all tonight because um, I'm tired, but it's on there. So I'm excited to watch that in a bit. Um, but carrying on, I then popped um, to Space NK. I also went to Sephora, but it's kind of half term this week and half term next week, depending on your area by the looks of things. And as you can imagine with half term, Sephora was slightly swamped with teenage girls, which is completely fine, but it was just a little bit busy and hard to see things. So I went to Space NK, um, which I do kind of prefer anyway, and it wasn't as busy. Um, but I picked up um, one of the Summer Fridays lip balms. I'm so late to the party, but I decided to finally get one and I got vanilla. Um, I smelt a few of them. I smelt the iced coffee one, which I thought I was going to like, but I wasn't really a big fan. Um, and also it was a bit tinted, which I didn't want. And same with the hot chocolate one. Um, again, I thought I'd quite like it, cute for autumn, but they both just smelt really, really artificial and a bit like sickly. So I went with vanilla, which is so me packaging wise. I absolutely love this. Um, so I'm excited to use it. I am very late to the party, but I'm very, oh my God, that smells delicious. I'm very excited about that. Like vanilla is one of my favourite scents. I'm very much a vanilla girly. So that is perfect. So I'm excited about that. And then obviously I went to Primark and then I didn't end up getting the boyfriend style pyjamas. I was actually going to get them, but then I noticed them in a different light and they were really, really purpley undertoned. So it was like a really purpley brown, which I didn't like. So I'm going to try them on. I've either got the satiny ones or I've got, um, obviously I showed you them in there. The I think I'm actually starting to lean more towards these ones you know because they're just so soft and they're slightly more brown than these ones these are looking more and more purpley the more and more i'm looking at them but i do feel like i probably should wash these before i wear them because obviously they've been on the shop floor but at the same time i really fancy putting these on reading this eating this and then watching notting hill so I don't really know like part of me is like I do need to put them in the washing machine before I wear them and part of me just wants to put them on now um, and then the other stuff from Primark I will show you in another video and then I did just get from Planet Organic I think it was um, the pistachio cream chocolate bar because this looks delicious I mean she was a mighty price tag for a tiny little chocolate bar um, but I can't resist when it's got pistachio in and I've never seen this particular bar before I've seen other like I've seen this brand do a different pistachio chocolate bar before on Ocado and stuff but I've never seen the pistachio cream one and the picture sold it to me so that is what I got so that is everything that I bought today along with my crumble and my matcha which was all very delicious and I feel like I've got a very happy belly so I'm just gonna have a quick 
um, bowl of big pasta for my dinner. I'm gonna jump in the shower and then this can ensue, which I've mentioned so many times, but I'm excited for it. I just realized, I don't know if I showed you my bun. I will be honest, I did have a bite of it on the train on the way home because I was just really intrigued and all the icing, the little white icing on it is gone. I mean, they are tiny, but I have had a little bit and it's delicious. So I didn't, I don't know if I actually showed you that. So that's my little buns from home. This is just playing. And now I'm questioning, is this where I went to get my book from today, the Notting Hill Bookshop? Because this looks like exactly where I stood. Um, let me just mute that a second. This might be really stupid. And if you've watched this film, you're probably like screaming at me through your screen. Um, go back a second, please. I just saw it like on the, here you go. I'm sure the girl that where I bought the book from was sat here, which would make sense, wouldn't it? Cause it's Notting Hill, Notting Hill Bookshop. That kind of makes sense, but that's actually so cute. Like the fact that this book that I bought today is from here in the film, if I'm correct, it might not be, I don't know. I'm gonna watch now and find out. Me too, Hugh Grant, me too. There's the blue door, I get it. Oh, he just said it, I just spoke over him. I'm sorry, Hugh. I've now worked out he lives at the blue door. And now I can also, like, I've literally, I'm like, probably what, two minutes in, and I can see why people watch this film and then want to go to Notting Hill, because that intro scene has just basically summed up why I love Notting Hill. So it makes sense, I get it, I, I completely get it, and I don't know why I've not watched this any sooner. Oh my god! So he works in the bookshop. I think that's where Notting Hill Bookshop is today. This is actually hilarious. I basically just lived a film Notting Hill today without even realizing. That also makes sense why so many people were taking pictures outside the bookshop. I thought they were just taking pictures because it was a cute looking bookshop, but now I think it's the bookshop that he works in. Which makes so much sense. And that's actually so cute that I've got this book from there now. And now I'm watching that, I love that. This isn't an episode of Gogglebox, so you probably don't want to see me watching the whole film of Notting Hill. And to be honest, I just want to get my makeup off now, get into bed, turn off these lights that I've got on to try and make the lighting look good, um, and just watch this film and enjoy it. And I'm also going to finish this and then brush my teeth. But that has been my day, which has been the most loveliest day ever. Like, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, I kind of accidentally lived out the film Notting Hill without realising, and it was actually really enjoyable. So... I would really recommend it. I'd actually recommend watching Notting Hill maybe. Oh, it's actually kind of cute like watching it when you get back from Notting Hill, but also the day before. It's kind of cute because then you can be like, oh, that's what I saw in the film. I don't know. If you've not seen it, I mean, I'm only five minutes in, but I would recommend it from what I've seen so far. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to eat this. I keep going to put it in my mouth and then I realise I'm talking. So I'm going to eat this and go to bed, like I said, and carry on watching this. And I will see you at some point soon with another video. But thank you for spending the day with me. And I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.